All right, let's get started. The title for this will be What if Deku has two quarks plus one for all? Part two. We start our st- <clears throat> God. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> we start our story with Deku at the beach. Where Deku has begun his training with All Might. Now, to clarify, Deku is weak. But, I mean, yes, he is weak with his body slash strength. But his two quarks, they are strong. From the nine-year gap, Deku has been training his quarks. Not his body. And since he's getting all for one, now he has to train his body. Now, at the beach where Deku falls into his face, Deku asks All Might, Why do I have to pull this refrigerator? Plus, you're on top of it. Oh, <clears throat> all might. Oh, 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 my boy. You must know the rules by now. Deku is uh, thinking in his brain. When they both got to the uh, the beach, all might, all might say, made Deku say, I will not use my quirks during these. Ten months of training. Okay. Good. Now let's keep on going now faster and faster and faster. And the famous line Deku says, just like that, I began my ten months of absolute hell. And that happens in the anime. What a, what happens in the anime happens here too. And it's the end of the ten months. Ho oh, oh. ho Good job now Deku or Izuku Madoya My or all for one's ninth user Eat this. Huh? Wait, what? All Might. All Might? That's your hail, or a piece of your hail. All Might says, To inherit my power, Cork, you have to eat my DNA. Now, we're at UA, where Deku is talking with Kachan. Up the stairs. Yeah. Now there's gonna be a funny part in here, so yeah, keep listening. They both make the trip while talking. Uh, and then they both trip at the same time, not even knowing while talking. <laughs> Then Uwaka comes up to both of them and saves the day. Deku starts getting flustered and scared, saying, Wait, hold on, what's going on? Why am I floating? Oh, wait, there's a cute girl over there. Kachan hasn't uh, gotten over his, over his feel of heights. Plus, he doesn't know why he's floating. And... Yeah. He passes out. Ah. <laughs> uh, and then, in the distance, you hear a ding. Ding. <laughs> you look at him closely. Oh. Kachan's eyes are all white. <laughs> yep. Uwaka says, Oh, I'm sorry for making your friend pass out. 
and sorry to have you have I use my quote on you, you too. Thank you. Oh, it's okay. Um, thanks, and uh, I- I'll wake him up in a little bit. She walks away. Kachan is still knocked out cold. Degu uses his one of his dark claws to carry him inside. Degu sits down. He takes out a uh, hot pebble, eats it, waits for a second on his, on his dark claws. But then suddenly, the dark pitch womb in a weird uh, corner oops nope I should nope eh what am I doing yeah I guess that's good. Uh, oh crap! I didn't pause. Ah. Uh, no, I don't think that's a good one. Let's just say Deku's um, flames uh, yeah. Deku's um, dark claws torn into a red, then orange, and then back to black. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, that's what I'm making up there. Where am I? And then he slaps Kachan. Kachan wakes up saying, well, he has no memory, so he's saying, what happened? So Deku lies. Now Mr. Mike walks in, in the, what happened? Oh my god. M- Mr. Mike walks in like in the anime. And now we are outside with Deku being a little cautious. And that's where the episode ends. So, yeah. Next part, I'll do. Part three. Uh, please leave a like and. Hmm. What do you think about this story? Should I change some stuff? Should I add more? Please leave your comment down below and I would happily reply if. Anyone, <laughs> uh, comments down below. Um, so yeah, please leave a like. Bye bye. And, and.